That's oh fuck. Default, how about that? No, nothing. How about now? Let's see. How's the audio now? Okay, there's that. Do I get this? I'm not getting any spikes here. Oh, mic right there, mic right there. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so music's going. Mic is on. Okay, there's that. I think everything sounds good so far. See, let me see. Uh... Um, I think that should be okay, right? Yeah. No. No, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. It seems to be working to some extent. Uh, fucking 12 minutes in. Okay. <laughs> Either way, uh, let's see how this sounds with the music going. I don't hear myself in my headphones.
Alright, like let's learn to play it. Alright, so, I already did this one, I got a silver medal. Um, I didn't get it within, I think, the eight minutes. I think it was... Uh, well, clearly, within 10. Well, let's do this one. A good commander <clears throat> must learn to be decisive in war. Hesitation or mistakes can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Just as a soldier practices his spear thrusts, so too must a commander learn to be efficient and repeat tasks until he knows them by heart. Sun Tzu says, a clever fighter wins his battles by making no mistakes. That's making never no mistakes happen. is what establishes the certainty of victory, for it means conquering an enemy that is already defeated. Few generals make it this far. Let us see if you are one of them. Fuck no. One of the most common strategies in multiplayer games is the Fast Castle Age strategy. Today, you will learn to execute... Why did you say Fast Castle Age? Orders. It's Fast Castle. A build order is a set of instructions to be strictly followed in order to guarantee the most efficient gameplay. They are quite common in multiplayer games, so research them in your free time. First of all, it is very important to never leave your town center idle. Check your town center regularly to see if a villager is being trained. If not... Use the go to town center hotkey to jump to your it's actually on my mouse. Click the create villager button to train or queue up another villager. If you do not have enough food, force your villagers gathering food to drop off their resources. Use the rally flag in your town center to task it to send new villagers to a resource or construction site when they are trained or unharrassed. When villagers are newly created or when Okay, this sounds like an instructional video from like school or some shit. and send them back to work. Remember, build orders are a great way to improve your play, but do not forget to strategize. No single game is the same, so you will often need to think outside of the box. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Oh. Um... Click on your town center yeah. and queue multiple villagers. Have two villagers build one house and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Uh, Send so any idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Just not loading. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. What the fuck? Uh What? It just saw that. The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not forget to queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. 
Uh, should have made that closer. Oh, oh yeah. Kid, the other If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next villager is trained. Experienced players can save loom for later. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. You need to find all eight sheep and both boars. The next villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. I thought this was going to be like the other one. Super. I can speak English. Set the rally point of your town center on your forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Go here. Lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. Yes, I know how to lure a boar. Play the early economy challenge. Ah, I fucked that up. No. Kid. Rabuja. Forgre. To. Selgre. To. Ah ha ha. I fucked that up. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. I fucked that up. How did I do that? Kia, Kart, To. Valgra. We need more here, huh? Kid, the other guy. Lure the second boar with the next villager that you create. Wait, I just pulled the boar. Why am I doing the second one already? Have the next three villagers also forage for berries. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Build another house. Kid. Rob Oh. I have gold, stone, two golds, a stone. Send the next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should you. not fall idle. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. This will make your lumberjacks more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. You will need another house after the next villager is trained. Kid, I'm already starting farms. <laughs> Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Ah, I fell idle. When your last boar is depleted, send the idle villagers to gather from sheep. 
Kia, the odd guy. Need to build a house. Kid, Rob Wigger, Ireland. Rob Wigger, Rob Wigger. Good practice, good practice. When your sheep are nearly exhausted, start Kid. building eight farms. The odd guy. Rob Wigger. I'm pretty sure I found everything. Send the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. Do not forget Airlock. to keep training villagers. Cold. Your town center should not fall idle. Rob Wigger. Valgra. Up here. Kia. Oh, what am I doing? Rob Wigger. Rob Wigger. Rob Wigger. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your town center. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Right, how many was I supposed to have? Oh, yeah. Uh, whoopsie. Kid. Bonnet. There is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not go idle. Once you reach the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. Kia. Bonnet. Bonnet. All right, let's see here. Everyone looks Kid. good. Yep. Oh, so I have Kia. Four. Air love. Forgera, Boonid, Kid, Rabuja, Erlov, Rabuja. Erlov. Kia, Boonid. Kia, Erlov. Tau. Was it Market Blacksmith? Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task two villagers to build a market. Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiled, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. I don't think that's necessarily true. I mean, not the technology part, but the... Boom. Great. Now advance to the castle age. Excellent. Oh. You've completed this challenge. Hopefully you're happy with your time. If not, feel free to try again. Did I? Ah. I completely forgot about my scout there for a while. I feel it's kind of cheap to <laughs> get that achievement. Silver. Okay. Um. Not bad. I'm gonna do it again. A good commander. One of the most common. <laughs> Click on your town center and queue multiple villagers. 
Have two villagers build one house, and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Send any idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. This time I'm not gonna fuck up and lose someone. Like a fucking noob. The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not oh no, forget to here. queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Uh, it's kind of good practice, you know? Kia, Cole. Rob with you. Oh, wait, right. I need four on wood. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. Ah, fuck You need idiot. to find all eight sheep and both boars. If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next village. I'm not new to it. I'm just an idiot. Experienced okay. players can save loom for later. The next villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. I'm over here like fucking listening to you. Airlove for Grunage. Set the rally point of your town center on your forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Kia. Oh. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Kia, the Odige, Selgara. Forgara, Tol. Kart. Tol. Tol. Selgara, Fiedige. Kia. Forgara. Rob with you. You do not have the food to create more villagers. Force your boar hunters to drop off their food at your town center and then immediately task them back to the boar. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. If you do not, play the early economy challenge. Lure the second boar with the next villager that you create. Have the next three villagers also forage for berries. Next three villagers foraging for berries. Airlove. Toll. Oh, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? Ah, hi, bitch. Forgera, I fucked that up. Do not forget to keep training toll. villagers. Shut Your up. Town center should not fall idle. Kia, Selgara, Selgara. Airlove. Char. Toll. Toll. Selgara. Valgara, Selgara. Oh, what are you doing? Build another house. Kid. Cart. Rob with you. I need... <sighs> Send the more. next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Kia. Toll. Tiediga. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. This will make your lumberjacks more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. A 
I have seven or eight hunters. Oh, it's because I have homie yeah. on the sheep, right? You will need another house after the next villager is trained. When your last oh. boar is depleted, the send the idle villagers to gather from sheep. The Kia. When your sheep are nearly exhausted, start building eight farms. Send the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. I'm not falling idle, my guy. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your town center. I don't have enough food yet, my friend, though. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Did I miss a sheep? There is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not Nobody's. go idle. Once you reach the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. Kid? I mean, I'll just move them down here. I mean, they should be a part of my wall, but fuck it. I don't care. I'll just <laughs> use the market. <laughs> I did. I missed one. I missed two sheep. Fuck. I failed. I fail. Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task two villagers to build a market. Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiled, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. Now nah, I'm gonna chill. Let's sell and buy. I so great. Now advance to the castle age. Excellent. You have completed this challenge. Hopefully, you are happy with your time. If not, feel free to try mm. again. <laughs> uh, let's see. What I get? Still silver, huh? Uh. Alright, so I'm gonna kind of. It's not cheating. I'm gonna do it A good again. Commander. One of the most common strategies in multiplayer games is the fast. The Lord. Click on your town center and queue multiple villagers. Have two villagers build one house and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Send any idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. Okay. 
We're gonna try to be more efficient. <laughs> His replacement's in the middle. What are you doing? The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not forget to queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. I Your town center should not fall idle. I literally did it as soon. God damn it. I did it as soon. As soon as they fell idle. What are you talking about, my guy? That's everything, right? Level camp. I need four. I'm almost there. Six of six sheep. If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next villager is trained. Nah. Experienced players can save loom for later. Do not ah, forget on. to keep training villagers. Your town center should I'm not I'm still fuck idle. training, motherfucker. Fucking fuck, man. I'm telling you. The next gonna... villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. Man, I'm gonna keep. Set the rally point of your town center on your forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Valgara. Selgara. To. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Kid, rob with you. Kia, sell girl. Oh, big deal. Oh, the other guy. Kia, lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. If you do not, play the early economy challenge. You are the second boar with the next villager that you create. If you do not have the food to create more villagers, force your boar hunters to drop off their food at your town center and then immediately task them back to the boar. Do not forget to keep training villagers. That's why, because they are fucking working. Kid, Boonage. Kia, Boonage. Have the next three villagers also forage for berries. Kia, Selgara. Forgara. To, Kart. Valgara. Selgara, Selgara. Kid, To, To, Kart. Selgara. Erla, Selgara. Build another house. Kia. Rabuigia. All right, so. Send the next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Kia. Selgara. Selgara. Erlov. Fiedega. To. Rabuigia. No. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. Uh, so this will make the lumberjacks right more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. Erlov, Selgra, Robuja, Valgra, Robuja. When your last boar is depleted, Forgera. send the idle villagers to gather from sheep. You will need another house after the next villager is trained. I need 10 lumber checks for this strategy. Ideally. 
Kia? Rawbwigya. And some more over here, why not? Better better be building houses anyway, it's... When your sheep are nearly exhausted, start building eight farms. Kid, Boonage. Toe. Cart. No, what are you doing? That's my bad. I'm sorry. Send the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. Forgera. Boonage. Forgera. Kid. Rabwigya. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your town center. It's the next one. Kia, Chart, Ho, Bead Fear, Vargara, Kia, Rob, do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Rob, I, oh, what the fuck did it go, go to feudal for? Yeah. Bitch, Vargara, Rob, Wigger, Arlo, Rob, Wigger. I'm a villager over. That's there is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not go idle. Yeah. Once you reach yeah. the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. I'm, I'm just too slow. That villager, the fucking villager, man. I would have been gold. Air love, Fiedica. Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task Rob two villagers to build a market. Rob Forger. Rob Rob Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiled, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. Uh, where are you at? Kia, Rob You loom while I wait. Great, now advance to the castle age. Fuck. Excellent. You have completed this challenge. So so hopefully you are happy with your time. Now if not, feel free to try again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm going to get gold. I'm going to get gold. Click on your town center and queue multiple villagers. Yeah. Have two villagers build one house and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Send any idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. All right, there's six right there. I love. The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not forget to queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. 
You need to find all eight sheep and both boars. Kid, though, bit fear. Rob Wigger. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Dude, calm down. It was like a literal second. The fuck is wrong with you? If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next villager is trained. Nah. Experienced players can save loom for later. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. You need to find all eight sheep and both boars. The next villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. No, what are you doing? Set the rally point of your town center on your forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Air love. Do not forget to keep training yeah. villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Kid. Selgara. Kid. Chart. Toll. 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 Selgara. Come on now, you're tripping. Lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. Oh. If you do not, Play the early economy challenge. Kia, Tiedega, Rabuja. Lure the second boar with the next villager that you create. If you do not have the food to create more villagers, force your boar hunters to drop off their food at your town center and then immediately task them back to the boar. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Kia. Oh, for everyone. Have the next good. three villagers also forage for berries. It's like the boards are going much faster than they used to. Air love. Chart. Toe. Chart. Or maybe my timing on it was just not really to good. Training villagers. Your Kid. town center Sandra. should not fall Sandra. idle. Air love. Toe. Toe. Kia. Chart. Salgara. 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 Build another house. Kid, Forgera, Selgera, Kid, Rabwege, Kia. Send the next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Uh, yeah. Rabwege, Kid, Fiedega. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. This will make your lumberjacks more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. Kia? Uh, I'm only going to start building farms. Selgere, Forgere, Rabwege, Erlov, Tol, Rabwege. When your last boar is depleted, send the idle villagers to gather from sheep. You will need another house after the next villager is trained. Kia, Rabuja, Forgera, three, Kid, four. I need three more on um... Kid Fiedica Air Love Boonage. Send the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. Okay. Let's should do it. No, what am I doing? 
Scarlet. Rabuya. When your sheep are nearly exhausted, start building eight farms. Forgera. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your town center. All right. So this should get me my gold. My gold. Kid. Kid. Kia. Kia. Rabuja. Erlov. Fiedika. Rabuja. There is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not go idle. Once you reach the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. Twenty two doing this. Ah, oh, you and Strat, whatever. Doesn't really matter. It's the kind of I just noticed that they they do different animations while they are Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task two villagers to build a market. Now I'm putting everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiled, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. I'm gonna sell my wood fast castle. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town yes! center should not fall idle. Ever. Yes! You have completed this challenge. Hopefully you are happy yeah, with your time. If not, feel free to try again. Come on, right? That was good. No. Yes! Ah, gold. <laughs> very fucking nice. Very nice, you know? Like, very nice. Un momento, por favor. I get to use the
All right, so I got the gold. Now let's go for booming. As your army grows, so do your responsibilities. Oh. Not only must you look after your soldiers, but also after their families. It is of great importance that your people are fed, that your population grows, and that your towns increase in size. Yes. Sun Tzu says, the command of a large force is the same principle as the command of a few men. It is merely a question of dividing up their numbers. Oh. An army is so, only so. as strong as the economy that supports it. A large army requires a large population and a surplus of food, gold, and other resources. Show me that you understand this important lesson. <sighs> Let's see how they want us to do this. Booming! Easily defensible maps such as Black Forest or Arena. It means building a strong economy before producing a powerful military. Booming makes you vulnerable until you reach the Imperial Age. But if executed properly, this strategy will allow you to overwhelm your enemies with large armies. The key to booming is ensuring constant production of villagers. Ideally, about half of your total population room should be villagers. To achieve this, you must build multiple town centers and ensure that they are always training new villagers. This requires a large amount of resources, especially food mm. and wood. So finding the right balance will be important. You can also improve the resource gathering rate of your villagers by researching economic technologies at the town center, lumber camp, mill, and mining camp. These technologies are important, so do not ignore them. Apply these lessons and your empire will thrive. I'm kind of dumb because that means I have to remember this shit. Oh god, I'm an idiot. You have just reached the Castle Age. Select your town center and train as many villagers as you can with your remaining food. Set a rally point on trees for now. Okay, so... The key to booming is ensuring that your town centers are always busy. I say town centers because you will need more than just one. You now have enough wood and stone to build a second town center near the trees. Hey, yeah. Bouvere. I will need to replace you the now have enough wood and stone wood. to build a third town center. You may even want to build a fourth town center later to speed up your villager production. Uh, yeah, I'll put it right here. Bouvere. It should be on a different resource, like here. Your villagers need houses. Be proactive in building houses hey, to prevent yeah. your town centers from becoming idle. Monitor yeah. your population yeah. counter at the top yeah. of the screen. Great. Now make sure that this town center is busy by training villagers there as well. But do not forget your first town center. Remember, your town centers should always oh. be training new villagers. Research economic technologies at the lumber camp, mill, and mining camp to improve the gathering rate of your villagers. Hey, sir. I need to monitor your resources. If you notice that you have a lot of wood compared with food, take villagers away from wood and have them build farms. Hey, 
What are you doing? Come on. You now have 50 villagers. Research handcart at one of your town centers to greatly improve the gathering efficiency of your villagers. You are close to being housed. Construct houses to keep up with your village Fine. production. Maybe make another one here. I'm not in this way more. You are close to being yeah. housed. Construct houses to keep up with your villager production. Uh, where's my go to? I don't know the go to market hockey, so I'll go to. Hey, yeah. Give me everything I need. To advance to the Imperial Age, you will need gold and to construct either one castle or two Castle Age buildings. Ah, I find letting this guy sit. Wait, it said one castle, right? Ah, fuck, I went to. Hey, sir. Hey, yeah. 
Ouvert. Hurry up, Ouvert. you can still earn Ouvert. the bronze medal. Hey, what do I need? I have two castellates buildings. Oh, right. I fucked that up. Great. You now have 100 villagers, but you still must advance to the Imperial Age to complete this challenge. Well done. I fucked that you up so bad. Villagers and are advancing to the Imperial Age. Oh. Your economy is now powerful enough I'm an to idiot. large armies and vanquish your enemies. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Soft victory. We're doing this again. You have just reached the Castle Age. Select your town center and train as many villagers as you can. So on stone team. and on Set gold. Rally point on trees for now. The key to booming is ensuring that your town centers are always busy. I say town centers because you will need more than just one. You now have enough wood and stone to build a second town center near the trees. Hey, sir. Bouvera. You now have enough wood and stone to build a third town hey, center. Yeah. You may even want to build a fourth Bouvera. town center yeah. later Bouvera. to speed up your villager production. Bereite. Hey, yeah. Bouvera. Bouvera. Your villagers need houses. Be proactive in building houses to prevent your town centers from becoming idle. Monitor your population counter at the top of the screen. 30 to 40. Great. Now make sure that this town center is busy by training villagers there as well. But do not forget your first town center. Remember, your town centers should always be training new villagers. Research economic technologies at the lumber camp, mill, and mining camp to improve the gathering rate of your villagers. Yeah, Oh, do another mill, keep doing farms. Hey, sir. Monitor your resources. If you notice that you have a lot of wood compared with food, take villagers away from wood and have them build farms. You are close to being housed. Construct houses to keep up with your villager production. You now have 50 villagers. Research handcart at one of your town centers to greatly improve the gathering efficiency of your villagers. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Get Das ist soll. Buver, 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 
Bu, bu, bu wäre. Hey, ja? Holzer, Holzer. Hey, Sir. Bu wäre. Come on. Hey, ja. Bu wäre. Ja. Bereite. God damn it. I keep hitting the wrong button. God damn Bereite. Bu wäre. Bu wäre. Hey, ich. Bu wäre. Heiße Holzer. Du wäre reit, wäre. Hey, ja. Wäre. Hey, ja. Ja. Heiße Du wäre. To advance to the Imperial Age, you will need gold and to construct either one castle or two Castle Age buildings. The chance to earn a gold medal has passed, but you can still earn the silver or bronze medals. Ja. Bu bu wäre bu wäre bu bu wäre Holzer. Hey ja. Ah, I'm not gonna get it. Bereite. Ja. Uwere, uwere, Holzer. Hey, Sir. Hey, ja. Holzer. Holzer. Hey, Sir. Holzer. Bereit. Holzer. Hey, ja. Bu wäre. Bereit. Bu wäre. Bereit. Bu wäre. Hurry up. You can still earn the bronze medal. Fuck. Ja. Hey, ja, Holzer. Heiße? Du wäre. 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 Ja. Great. You now have 100 villagers. But you still must advance to the Imperial Age to complete Damn it. this challenge. Well done. You have 100 villagers and are advancing to the Imperial Age. Your economy is now powerful enough for you to build large armies. Bronze and metal. Uh. 
I'm so not used to being at that point. Alright. We'll come back to that. Alright. So. Sometimes you will face an enemy stronger than yourself. Be like a wrestler who is smaller than his opponent. He does not meet his opponent's strength with his own, but instead looks for his enemy's weakness. So too must you learn to strike your enemy where he is vulnerable and cut his supply lines before you can meet strength with strength. Here is the virtue in raiding. On this subject, Sun Tzu advises, the impact of your army should be like a grindstone dashed against an egg. This mm -hmm. is achieved through the knowledge of weak and strong points. Be relentless, because the enemy will be relentless as well. Now, show me what you have learned. Early attacks, also called rushes, are often a cat and mouse game. You can harass the enemy economy by sending military units to attack enemy villagers. If the villagers fight back, or if enemy soldiers arrive, your raiders should retreat and seek better opportunities. Try to pick off any weak or separated villager instead of going for large groups. That way, you will do the most damage while sustaining the least losses. Do not chase villagers when they are too close to their town center. You will risk losing several units to the arrows that it shoots. Yeah. You your own economy while you attack the enemy. You must keep collecting more resources and training villagers so you can continue to train new soldiers, upgrade your military, and finally advance to the next age yourself. The best of luck to you. Alright, this is the tricky part. Time to take the fight to your enemy before he can bolster his defenses. Train an army and attack him. Kill five villagers as quickly as possible. Keep on scouting the enemy base with your scout. It is important to find weak points in its defenses. Where is my scout here? So oh, what? Uh, I guess it's here. Bereite, ja. Bereite, ja. Suche. Three soldiers are already enough units to attack with. The longer you wait, the stronger the enemy gets. Hey, ja. Heise. Hey, ja. Suche. I guess I should be doing more in the Hey ya Oh they're hunting right there. Hey sir. Keep an eye on your own economy while you attack the enemy. You want to keep collecting more resources and training villagers so as not to fall behind. We control one. That is the first villager down. Good job. Hey, sir. Boo-bearer. Another villager is down. Hey, sir. Come on, how are you doing? Ouvert, ouvert.
Hey, come on. Ah, the gold come medal on. is out of reach, but you still have time to earn the silver or bronze medals. Three villagers down, two more to go. Now that you have a decent raiding party, you can start upgrading your soldiers. Only research technologies that will improve the units that you have trained. The speed and agility of scout cavalry make them excellent raiders. However, ah, their high you. food cost can slow the growth of your economy. Research foraging at the blacksmith and bloodlines at the stable to augment their offensive capabilities. To kill villagers more effectively, block their path to their town center with your soldiers. Is there a blacksmith? I have not been doing shit, honestly. Hey, yeah. Ouvert. Actually. Hey, sir. Ouvert. Ah, I'm so bad at this. The bronze medal is still within reach. Try to avoid approaching the enemy town center for now. You are not able to destroy it yet. I'm not gonna get any of this. Fuck me. Hey, sir. Gebur. Just one more villager. Well done. You have killed five enemy villagers. I'm gonna redo that. The economy that. of your opponent is weakened, and he will struggle to keep up with you. That was awful. Time to take the fight to your enemy before he can bolster his defenses. Train an army and attack him. Kill five villagers as quickly as possible. Keep on scouting the enemy base with your scouts. It is important to find weak points in its defenses. Yeah. Ouvert. Ouvert. Three soldiers are already here. enough units to attack with. So the longer you wait, the stronger the enemy gets. Right. Keep an eye on your own economy while you attack the enemy. You want to keep collecting more resources and training villagers so as not to fall behind. Now that you have a decent raiding party, you can start upgrading your soldiers. Only research technologies that will improve the units that you have trained. The speed and agility of scout cavalry make them excellent raiders. However, their high food cost can slow the growth of your economy. Research foraging at the blacksmith and bloodlines at the stable to augment their offensive capabilities. Try to avoid approaching the enemy town center for now. You are not able to destroy it yet. To kill villagers more effectively, block uh, their path right. to their town center with your soldiers. Oh. 
We'll get this guy. That is the first villager down. Good job. Bereit. Ouvert. Alright, we're gonna go. Another villager is down. out of reach but you still have ah. time to earn the silver or bronze medals three villagers down two more to go just one more villager Get it, get it, get it. Well done. All right, all right, Killed silver. Five enemy villagers. The economy of your opponent is weakened, and he will struggle to keep up with you. Fuck. Ah, it's so difficult to do. <laughs> oh man, going back and forth. Oh, let's take the silver on that one. I am silver boy. Alright, un momento, por favor. Okay, um, let's do this one. You are not the only one who will be raiding. Your opponent will not hesitate to attack you when and where you are weakest. Therefore, you must use your skills to defend your people and train your peasants to defend themselves. Mm. Hence, that general is skillful in attack, whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense, whose opponent does not know what to attack. Sun Tzu wrote, Show strength where you are weak. Wherever the enemy attacks, show him that you are ready to repel his soldiers. Be ready and prepared, Commander, because now it is up to you. Hmm. Let's see. Not stand idle while you build your empire. Learning how to maintain growth while under pressure from enemy attacks is vital to your empire's survival. As you can see, your base is surrounded by impassable objects such as trees, mines, and forage bushes. These will act as a natural barrier between your units and those of the enemy. However, in between them are gaps mm. in which the enemy can advance. To defend your base, you will have to use your villagers to build walls, gates, and buildings to close these gaps. Like this. When the enemy sends in their military units, your top priority is to protect your villagers. Ringing the bell of your town center is an option, but it will paralyze your economy. Instead, 
Just garrison the villagers that are in immediate danger. A watchtower offers both protection for your villagers and defense for your base. Make sure enemy units cannot position themselves within one tile of your tower, however. Your towers cannot shoot at units adjacent to them until you research murder holes in the murder holes. Pre-castle age units like militia, men at arms, spearmen, scout cavalry, archers, and skirmishers are not strong enough to destroy a base on their own. Instead, they are used to harass and kill enemy villagers to damage the enemy economy. During such an early rush, it is possible to fight back. If you have more villagers than the enemy has military units, or if you have military units of your own, use them to fight the invaders. Just make sure that you do not lose any villagers. That would harm you more than keeping them garrisoned. Focus on the enemy units with low hit points first. Villagers do not fight automatically, so you must manage them carefully. I hear the enemy approaching. Take up arms and fend off their attack. Alright, let's see how we do. <laughs> Advancing to the next stage quickly can be important, but your opponents will try to prevent you from gaining this advantage. In this mission, we will try to advance to the next stage while under pressure from attacking enemies. Use your scout to look for enemy buildings. You can anticipate an attack if you know what the enemy is training. Do not forget to wall off any weak spots and build watchtowers where needed. The enemy will arrive at any moment. Focus on protecting your villagers, but do not keep them idle for too long. The enemy is attacking your base. Fair. I don't even see where he's attacking me from. If you build palisade walls around your watchtowers, enemy melee units cannot reach them. Toyo? Yeah? Yeah. Moksu. Jungi? Yeah? Moksu. Pegi. モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。モクス。
I'm just fucking everything. What the fuck, man? The chance to earn a gold medal has passed, Wait, but what? you can still earn the silver or bronze medal. Oh, because I'm trying to get the castle. It's fuck me. I'm not good at my or managing. Yeah, I need a building. This was a failure. Hurry up. You can still earn the bronze medal. <sighs> you are advancing to the next age. Congratulations. You made it. Wasn't too bad. Beat a lot of them. I, don't know, I beat five of them. Let's see. Now and a half. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if we can oh, Let's see A commander goes to war with the army that he has and must think of how to get the most out of it Your opponent may seem stronger at first glance, but a sly general does not worry he studies the enemy and the terrain, and knows how to use his soldiers to maximum effect. Sun Tzu says, The good fighters of old put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat, and then waited for an opportunity to defeat the enemy. Did you understand what this advice should tell you? Good. Then it is time to send your troops into battle, and do not forget to always keep a level head. Advanced tactics, which will help. 
help you gain the upper hand on your opponents. First of all, always try to use your units according to their strengths and weaknesses. I will explain the standard unit types. If you want to learn more about other units, consult the technology tree. Archers are strong against infantry, but weak against skirmishers. Spearmen are strong against scout cavalry, but are not of much use against men-at-arms and archers. Skirmishers have a bonus attack against archers and spearmen, but lose out against all other kinds of military units. Men-at-arms are especially good against buildings. However, they also fare well against other units, unless they are outnumbered. Scout cavalry are strong against skirmishers, but will also fare well against small groups of archers and are excellent raiders to boot. When commanding ranged units, your best chance when facing a numerically superior force is to use hit-and-run tactics. Use your archers to shoot at the enemy unit. Then run away when they get too close. Take note of the surrounding terrain. If you fight downhill or from behind a cliff, <coughs> your units will do additional damage to mm. units. If you fight in a narrow passage, a smaller group of units can overcome a larger one by exploiting the bottleneck. Now that you have learned these important lessons, let us see how you fare on the battlefield. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna do this. Welcome. In this challenge, you must defend several areas against enemy attacks. Choose the units that are best suited to fend off each enemy army, and try not to lose too many of your own soldiers. Consult the hints section if you need a reminder about unit strengths and weaknesses. The enemy is preparing to attack you. Study the composition of the enemy forces and choose the soldiers that you want to send into battle by selecting one of the unit types available to you. Вашим услугам аз делаю. Да, господин. Понятно. Аз делаю. Понятно. Да, господин. Бой. Я така. You have to earn the gold medal in a different battle, but do not despair. The silver medal is still within reach. Wait, what I lose? Enemy is about to launch a second attack. Choose the right unit to repel these enemy archers. Da, as delayu. Da, gospodin. Punyatno. Аз делаю. Да, господин. Кауражио. Я така. Понятно. Бой. Да, господин. Я така. Аз делаю. Понятно. Да, господин. Кауражио. Аз делаю. Я така. Понятно. Кауражио. Бой. Да, господин. Я така. Аз делаю. Бой. Понятно. Кауражио. Аз делаю. Бой. Понятно. Я така. Кауражио. Да, господин. Бой. Кауражио. Аз делаю. Я така. I lost this one, huh? Kourajou, Yataka. Kourajou, boy. Yataka. Fuck. Kourajou, Yataka, boy. Now the enemy is sending a group of skirmishers. Choose the right counter and defend your land. I was supposed to fucking micro them. Enemy men at arms approach from the south. We must stop them. Um, this is. Did you notice the hills nearby? Yeah. Units fighting from okay. higher elevation have an attack bonus against enemy units at a lower yeah. level. Try to lure your enemy to the hills to use the terrain to your advantage. Boy, as the attacker, Dagus Pudding. Boy, Punyatma. 
Achieving the silver medal is no longer possible, ah. but do not worry. Use the remainder of this attempt to learn more about army compositions. It will certainly help you in the future. Spearmen are about to cross the nearby ford to the west. Recruit some more units to repel them. I should have been... As the life. Punyato. Fuck, man. Yataka. As the life. Boy, Takus put it. Punyato. Yataka. Takus put it. Go reju. As the life. Yataka. Punyato. Go reju. Takus put it. Boy, as the life. Yataka. Punyato. Go reju. As the life. Boy, Takus put it. Yataka. As the life. Punyato. Go reju. Takus put it. Punyato. <sighs> the final battle approaches. This time, you are allowed to select two unit types with which to fend off the enemy. Try to use your units according to their strengths and weaknesses. Um... Scouts and men at arms, right? Boy. Good job. Uh, the enemy has been defeated, and this area is now under your control. Uh, bronze, bronze, bronze. I am a bronze medal. Let's see. Um. I don't know, man. Salve, condo. Presto, condo. Salve. Oh, what the fuck? That's both my boy. What the fuck is my mouse doing, man? 
You tripping, dog. Ah, you fuckers. The fuck is that, man? I hate you so much sometimes, game. Presto, sane. Ein fabulo. Ein fabulo. Impero fabulo. Ein correctus. Ein. Presto. Venatus. Salve. Sane. Impero. Correctus. Ain. Salve. Venatus. Salve. Ain. Impero. Condo. Alright. Am I missing? I might be missing. See how many down that is. Impero. Correctus. Presto. Venatus. Venatus. Salve. Ain. Ain. Sane. Venatus. Impero. Uh, is that? So I have a second wood line there. I can. I'm at 17 to 20. Condo. So I'm gonna wall here. Salve. I'm at four. If this fill, I'll be at six. Massive, I can waltz there. Actually, this kind of Impero Condo Ain Venatus Presto Pabulo Salve Impero. I so get that. Oh shit. Salve. Ain. Condo. Presto. Not expecting that. Condo. Salve. Con condo. Ain. Rectus. Caed. Presto. Sane. Ain. Condo. Condo, condo, correctus. Presto, caedo. Impero. Salve. Come here, come here, come get this sweet ass. Salve. Presto. Ain, ain. Ain, correct. 
Pablo. Tal vez. Cuando. Cuando. Not expecting him to do this shit already. my go oh there well I'm fucked oh so s fucking bad I handled that fucking poorly I mean Fuck. Yeah, Buvere, Ace, Buvere. Hey, yeah, Zuha. I fucked that up so bad. I'm not doing that again. No more fuck ups. I'm still learning. I should have been able to handle that. Bereite. Ja. Uwere. Zua, huh? It brought that motherfucker closer, huh? Put it right on top of you. I'm really upset with myself for that. I could have done better, I should have done better. Second one's there, okay. Air patch is there. Yeah. Rete, das ist soll. Hey, ja. Jäger. Berete. Rete. Ja. Uber. Ah, fuck. Too far out. I'm so upset with myself right now. Ace? Uvere. Bereit. Uvere. Hey, Jäger. All of that was just bad. Jäger. Ace? Gold. Hey, yeah. 
Wait, what am I? I'm goth, some infantry. Hey, Jäger. Bereit, Rete. Ja. Bereit. Jäger. Ja, ja. Rete. Das war. Das ist soll. Bereit. Heiße. So I'm going to start sitting some out to here the wall. I'm gonna build a wall there. Make a wall across the front. Yeah. Hey, sir. Boo, Vera. Boo, Vera. Um. Hey, yeah. Boo, Vera. That was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to be. If I'm telling the truth. Hey, yeah, that's bad. Bereit. Heise. Uwere. Ja, Jäger. Ja. Ja, everything's good there. Hey, ja. Wo wäre? I'm going to do a barrack. Heise? Bereit. Bereit. Boobere. Boobere. Ja. Boobere. Now I'm, I'm super late on this hey, shit. Ja. Ja. Hey, ja. Boobere. Bereit. Bereit. Holzer. Hey, sir. There's already one underneath. He's already in feudal age. <sighs> I said to play that out. I'm so slow. How long am I going? Two hours. I need to have a lot more practice, but I will call it for now.